Um, my name is Mike Ray, uh, product engineer here at SECA uh, in support of our transportation aftermarket business. And uh, really excited today to talk uh, a little bit about our Power Cure series of adhesives. So um, I'm gonna spend the next uh, half an hour or so going over those and, um, and hopefully um, shine some light on, on what we're doing with, uh, with, with, these, with these exciting new products that we've got. So just to introduce you to the team today uh, here on, uh, uh, on the SECA end, uh, like I said, my name is Mike Ray. I'm a product engineer supporting our aftermarket business. I've uh, been with SECA for 20 years now. Uh, our two panelists are Josh Hill um, from our marketing team, uh, also in support of our transportation aftermarket business, and Ron Combs, who's our national accounts manager and um, is part of the transportation aftermarket team. Uh, as Kristen had mentioned, um, these are our two panelists, Josh and Ron, will be fielding the questions. Please feel free at any point in time during the during the presentation uh, to put your to type in a question and, and send it to the to the panelists, uh, they'll either answer it right there uh, on the spot in the uh, in the chat function, or they'll forward it on to me uh, verbally at the end of the presentation. So uh, definitely get those questions in. And uh, the last member of the team is Kristen, who you've already met. Uh, she's the brains behind the operation, handling all the uh, all the technical issues for us today. So that's us, and uh, let's go ahead and get started. So a little bit about Seek Corporation. Um, just in case, um, I think a lot of people know a little bit about SICA, but might not know uh, just everywhere where SICA is involved. Uh, we are a global company, a global special chemicals company, um, the largest manufacturer of polyurethanes in the world. Uh, we really focus our products on uh, bonding, sealing, damping, reinforcing, and protecting. Uh, very big in, in building um, and motor vehicles. Uh, over 25,000 employees in over 100 countries. Um, 200, over 200 plants uh, across the globe, uh, including seven new plants that were built just last year. Uh, 93 new patents last year, uh, five acquisitions, and, and as you can see, we're uh, almost an $8.5 billion company. So um, we are definitely there. Our goal is always to be a solutions provider. Um, no matter what problem you might have, uh, we want to be the ones that can come in and, and, and help you solve a problem. Maybe you might not even know you've got uh, problems, but we want to be there you know, making uh, making your processes better, easier, faster, et cetera. So a little bit about our structure. Um, as you can see from these, uh, you know, from, from these pictures here, we're very, very big in the construction industry. So we focus in um, on concrete, on waterproofing, uh, roofing and flooring, sealing and bonding, refurbishing. Uh, and then the last category there is a little bit of a catch-all for us here at SECA. It's our industry group. That's the part where that's the group part of the organization that we all work in is, is our industry group. Uh, and like I said, it's a little bit of a catch all. We do uh, anything that's not directly involved with um, with building construction falls under our, our industry uh, division. So here's a little little breakdown as far as what our uh, industry group looks like uh, appliances and manufacturing, uh, industrial lamination, uh, transportation, including automotive and the automotive aftermarket, um, renewable energies. Uh, facades and fenestrations, um, tooling and composites, and, uh, and and also marine as well. So today we're really going to be focusing in on uh, our uh, automotive aftermarket and, and a little bit on our, our transportation group as well is, is where these power cure products uh, find their home. So uh, before we get into power cure itself, a little bit about the automotive aftermarket for SICA. Um, OEM trusted and approved. We are in uh, several um, automotive plants uh, across the globe, across North America and across the globe. Um, we've got several glass bonding. Um, we've got several, we, we do glass bonding in several plants uh, across North America. Uh, and that number is actually going up. So uh, we're continuing to take on more business when it comes to um, glass bonding uh, here in, in North America. We also do a lot of other things with our automotive products as well uh, for, uh, reinforcing and sound damping and, um, and, and things of that nature. Uh, customer safety is, is our first goal. Um, we crash test every single product that we bring to the aftermarket. Uh, to date, we've done over 70 worldwide. Uh, I personally have been involved with, I think, 17 or 18 of those. I have kind of lost track. We don't bring a product to market that hasn't been thoroughly tested in the lab. And then, um, and then crash tested to to make sure that um, that we're putting a safe safe product out into the field. So the other, the other things that we like to think set us apart from from our competition, 
Um, our sales support is extremely crucial to what we do. Um, we want to we want to make sure that uh, anybody that's using our products knows their sales rep, uh, has a relationship with their sales rep. Uh, the rep is in there um, providing solutions, uh, knows the technical support. Uh, myself, um, as well as our other business units, we want to make sure that our customers know our names, know our faces, um, and are not shy about coming to us when they've got uh, questions. We want to make sure that we're always available. And then lastly, and this is really where PowerCure comes in, uh, innovation. We're always thinking about what's next, what's the next big thing, how can we make our customers' lives easier, how can we make our customers' lives better. Um, so we're always striving to, to innovate and come up with new ways for our customers to do their job better and faster. A little bit uh, about our transportation group. Um, we are a leading supplier of not only glass bottom uh, adhesives to all these various industries, um, truck, coach, um, uh, military uh, vehicles, uh, rail, uh, agricultural vehicles, uh, specialty vehicles. Uh, we do not only a lot of glass bonding with these uh, with these customers, but we do a lot of other things as well in terms of panel bonding and sealing, um, noise and vibration reduction, uh, really anything anything that uh, gets stuck anywhere on a vehicle. Uh, we want to make sure that um, we're we're in those plants, talking to those customers, and and putting our products uh, on those vehicles. So now that we've gone into a little bit of uh, about Sika, now onto the good stuff, uh, talking about Power Cure. So. When we started PowerCure development a couple of years ago, uh, we really presented ourselves with a with a challenge. We knew that there was always changing requirements uh, in windshield repair, uh, as well as OEM uh, direct glazing. So we really wanted to challenge ourselves to, to develop an adhesive system that combines the performance advantages of a two component uh, system but still retain the simplicity and ease of use of a one component system. And that's where PowerCure really comes in. So, you know, if you look at that first picture, picture there uh, on the far left, when we talk about the packaging, what you see there is, this is actually a unipack of a, of a, of a regular one component polyurethane. So if you were to snap this little shoulder piece off, you could use this product all by itself and it's gonna work just like any other standard one component product. But that shoulder is what's giving us the advantage here. So this is actually an accelerator paste. And what you would do is, is this, this, this uh, package gets loaded right into the gun here that you see in the middle picture. And the gun is actually doing three things. The gun is actually dosing your, your A component, your, your adhesive here. It's dosing, giving you the proper dosage of the, of the accelerator paste. But then what's really special about it is that the, the nozzles actually have a mixing blade built into uh, into the nozzle housing there, and the gun is actually spinning those mixing blades. So not only are you getting the proper dosing, um, you're also getting a, a perfect mix every time. So that's what's really unique about this. Um, 13 patents were um, were achieved during the development process of this. Uh, and, and what you really end up with is a system that gives you the speed of a two component system but the ease of use of a one component system. And that was really what we were after. That was really what we challenged ourselves to achieve um, with this system. So how does it, how does PowerCure compare to other one component, two component technologies that exist out there? Well, you know, a one component product, it really relies on ambient humidity, ambient moisture to, uh, to drive the reaction and to cure the product. So it's an outside in effect Moisture from the air, um, you know, reacts uh, with the with the product, causing it to cross-link and cure, and then that moisture has to work its way through the cured skin uh, to continue to react with um, with with the remaining wet material to cure it out. So it, it's obviously well established. It's easy easy handling, uh, very reliable. But the problem there with the one component is that it is very very slow in cold and dry conditions. Um, so, so that would be the, the, the drawback of a one component um, system. Two component products, you can definitely get away from uh, the humidity aspect and the temperature aspect. Um, you really give yourself a lot of flexibility in the design. Uh, you, can, you can go stiffer, you can go more flexible, you can go faster, you can go slower. And you, of course you get the, uh, you know, the, the strength development at the speed that you need. 
but the problems with the two component system, one, you're really depending on the reaction uh, in order to get the correct final property. So if your mix ratio is off a little bit, well, it's not gonna cure properly. If your mixing is not uh, complete, if you don't get complete mixing of A and B, well, it's not really gonna perform the way that it's supposed to, and you're gonna have some, some undesirable properties that, that creep into your system there. And, and, and lastly, you know, there's, it's also a little bit avail, limited availability in terms of um, you know, small packaging size. Uh, they can lead to a lot of waste uh, in static in the static mixer and things like that. So when we look at power cure, we're retaining that fast strength development um, of a two component system, but we've got a system that now will cure and react based either on ambient moisture curing the product because like I said, the the main component is actually just a one component urethane, so it will cure all by itself. Um, but you've also got the reaction with the accelerator paste. Uh, that'll cure it from the outside in. So you're not dependent on either ambient moisture or a, you know or the the perfect mix and, and um, perfect ratio, perfect mix. We can kind of get away from from both of those um, both of those restraints. So you get the, the same final performance with or without the accelerator. So whether you cure the the product with the accelerator or just by ambient moisture, it's going to have the exact same cured properties. Um, Another big benefit is that uh, it's easily transferable from bulk applications. So say on an assembly line, um, you know, with a robot application, um, you can have the exact same product even uh, that you're using in bulk uh, through a pump system or through uh, smaller smaller packaging sizes using the power cure, power cure gun. Um, and like I said, it, it's really fail safe because it, it cures by the accelerator and or by, the, by uh, ambient moisture. So why would you want to use this technology for auto glass replacement? Um, well, really, it, it, because of the fast cure, it provides vehicle owners with the safest windshield replacement service available. And what do we mean by that? Well, what we mean is that that car, that vehicle is now uh, cured, that, that adhesive is, is cured to an OEM level um, very, 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 very quickly. So what do we mean by cure to an OEM level? Well, the car body, um, the, the body stiffness um, is, re is returned to the level of, of, you know, that it was originally. Um, the, the reinforcement that's provided by, um, by the windshield, in, by an installed windshield, that's restored to a level of new. Um, the windshield's not going to, um, to move or, 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 or shift on you. Um, and there's really no restrictions for the customer. So, after that 60 minute mark, when it uh, when it hits that uh, OEM level cure, that vehicle's in exactly the same condition as it was when that when when your customer drove that car off the lot. Um, no restrictions in terms of car washes or you know slamming the door. You don't need to keep the window open. Uh, really, any restrictions that we might currently put on uh, a, a newly installed windshield, those can really be alleviated in a very very short uh, period of time. So, and what you're doing by using a product like this is that you're differentiating your business um, by providing a, a premium service. And that's really the key, um, you know, that's really the key to power cure is that um, you, you're really, you're able to just differentiate yourself and what you're doing in your business. So specifically, what product are we talking about for auto glass replacement? Well, we're looking at a product called Seek Attack Elite. Quite frankly, here in the US, it's it's the fastest curing um, AGR adhesive that's available right now. Um, and like I said, you get cured to that OEM level in 60 minutes. Car is safe to drive in 30 minutes, uh, meaning it'll it'll pass a crash test. Um, no displacement of the windshield, no loss of adhesion um, in, a, in, in the event of a crash test after 30 minutes. And then 30 minutes after that, um, you know, one hour after installation, that car is in exactly the same condition as it was when the when the customer first drove it off the lot. So it enables fast and precise um, recalibration of your ADAS components, uh, whether whether uh, it's uh, dynamic or static. Um, you know, really no issues in terms of um, in terms of recalibration uh, as soon as we hit that 30 minute mark. Uh, excellent application properties. Uh, it cure, and you know, really what we're talking about, it cures almost independently of climate. So it doesn't matter if it's a, a cold, dry day, 
um, you're still going to get that cured OEM level in 60 minutes, um, which you know may take days, if not weeks, if uh, w w when you're using a one component product. And it, of course, like all of our products, is crash test proven. And then just to, to reemphasize cured OEM level, here's, here's exactly what we mean by that. Car body reinforced the level of new, um, body stiffness, no displacement, no restrictions for the customer. So, you know, that's on the, the auto glass replacement side. Um, we also really are excited about what this may mean for customers doing uh, commercial and specialty vehicle uh, glass replacement. Um, so why would you consider using PowerCure for these types of these types of vehicles, uh, glass installation on these types of vehicles? Well, really, what we're what we're looking at here is you can get that vehicle back to service a lot faster than you can um, with a one component product. So, um, you know, depending on the product that you're looking at, uh, anywhere from you know it, it could be as as low as one hour with Seek Attack Elite or um, uh, as low as four hours with a with our Seek Attack uh, Seek Flex 268 product, and what that really gets you is increasing your throughput. You don't now when you're doing a say you're doing you're replacing a windshield in an RV, you don't have to let that thing sit overnight in order to 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 get the strength level where you need it. You can get that thing in and out. Uh, it's a it's a convenience for your customer. It's a um, it can give you an opportunity to do more jobs. Uh, increase your throughput, uh, give you more scheduling flexibility, and just like on the auto glass replacement side, really differentiate your business by providing a, a premium service. So the products that we look at for commercial and specialty vehicle glass replacement, uh, again, we're looking at the Seek Attack Elite, um, and just a couple of specifics on that. We do offer that in 400 ml unit packs, so it's a, a little bit smaller uh, packaging size, um, but the return to service time is is one to two hours. Um, the working time here is is you know a little on the short side, eight to ten minutes. So it really makes it uh, more ideal for smaller parts, um, not necessarily ideal for for larger parts where that eight minutes just probably isn't going to be quite enough to to get you uh, to give you enough time to do what you need to do. So for larger parts like RV windshields and, and such. Um, you know, we, we're excited to offer the, the Sikaflex 268 power cure. So, you know, a little bit larger, we're looking at um, the 600 ml unit pack as opposed to the 400. Um, return to service time is a little bit longer. Um, uh, really, most situations, it's going to be four hours. Um, but the real reason that, that, that this product is in, in the lineup is because it gives you the additional working time that you, you need for the larger parts. So, been tossing this term around return to service time uh, and just to clarify that a little bit um, we wanted to throw this slide in here and really we're talking about uh, two different situations that you might come across uh, the first would be uh, a supported glass situation so with that there's a spacer or a setting block uh, something along the bottom that's going to uh, help take up the weight of that that piece of glass and come across that situation more often than not um, but uh, sometimes you will come across an unsupported piece of glass where it is just the adhesive that's holding that piece of glass up and there's nothing else to, to take up the weight. So we do make a differentiation there and we do differentiate on, on, in terms of back to service time um, when it comes to those uh, two different situations. So you know, we talk Seek Attack Elite, a supported piece of glass, like I said, going to be the more common of the two that you'd come across. Um, you know, across the usable temperature range, the return to service time it would be one hour for Seek Attack Elite. And then if you do have an unsupported piece of glass, we would want to double that just to make sure that the product has enough, um, enough strength built up uh, to, support, to support that piece of glass completely. Uh, when we talk about Seek Flex 268 Power Cure, uh, again, we look at the two different situations, supported versus unsupported glass. Now, you know, obviously, when we talk about 268, the longer open time, we're looking at larger parts. Probably most often we're looking at RVs, RV windshields. Uh, those, those are typically going to be warm weather type applications. So most often we're going to be living in this block right here, a supported piece of glass where we're over 60 degrees. And that's going to be a four hour block that, um, you know, where four, after four hours you can return that um, that vehicle to service with, with really no issue. It's, you know, in the same condition that it was when that customer first drove that, that vehicle off the lot. Uh, but if, if the temperature does drop down below 60, 
um, we would want to see a six hour um, return to service time. And then a little bit longer, obviously, when we're talking about unsupported, un unsupported glass. So uh, the different components associated with, with these products. Uh, Seek Attack Elite, um, it is available in 400 milliliter um, uh, unipacks. The, the unipack itself is 400 milliliters. There's an additional 20 milliliters of booster paste that gets incorporated into, into the, the final matrix. So your final volume is about 420 milliliters, which in, in all honesty, um, one unipack will do probably about 90% of jobs out there. Um, it, it really does go a long way once you, once you get a little bit of feel for, um, you know, for how, how quickly you need to move that gun. Um, probably north of 90% 90, 90 of jobs um, one unit pack is, is going to be more than enough. With all of our Power Cure products, um, we do require the use of Sika, Sika Primer 207 AGR on the glass. So, you know, no activator would be used. Um, anybody familiar with our systems, we, um, you know, we a lot of times use Sika Activator Pro on, on glass, um, but with the Power Cure products and the way that they're designed and, and the speed of, of reaction, uh, we really do need to use Sika Activator, or I'm sorry, Sika Primer 207 AGR on glass, um, you know, with, with any of our, with any of the power cure systems. So this would be a, a 400 milliliter gun um, to, to, that gets used with the, uh, the 400 milliliter um, uh, Sika Attack Elite. And then here you see our, the, the different nozzles down here. Um, this is a, a V-cut nozzle. Um, you can see that, that this is actually cut on a little bit of angle. Um, so with the, the power cure gun, you don't actually have to hold it at a 90. It's more of a, a 45 degree angle, um, and that that'll sit properly on the windshield and give you a, a nice V uh, without having to, to lift that gun all the way to uh, to 90 degrees. Um, it also comes with a with a two piece nozzle um, with with a little threaded end here, so you could actually thread on a straight nozzle, um, or you could thread on a, you know a, a different V cut if you wanted something else, but uh, but we definitely have those options available, um, you know, if you're looking for something pre-cut or if you're looking for something, uh, if you're looking for a straight nozzle. The last thing here, uh, this little, this white stick with the uh, with the blue housing, that's, a, that's an activator product called Seek Activator 309P. Now, because the Seek Attack Elite is so fast reacting, um, sometimes it does struggle a little bit on trimmed urethane. So, we have the, the Sika Activator 309P P product, which would get applied to trimmed urethane and to, to, the, to the pinch weld area. And what that's going to do is it's going to make sure that um, we've got excellent adhesion to the, the trimmed urethane bead, as well as any uh, painted areas of the pinch weld. So the, the Sika Activator 309P, it's used on, P is for pinch weld in this case, and um, that's going to make sure that the Elite, um, because of how fast it is, uh, develops um, a, a robust adhesion to to the trimmed urethane and, and to uh, the paint uh, on the pinch weld. So those are the components that uh, go into the Seek Attack Elite system. Uh, the Seek Flex 268 Power Cure system, the components are very, very similar, uh, but the, the, the things that you'll notice that are a little bit different is that the, the 268 is available in the 600 ml unipacks, again, with the 20 milliliters in the, uh, in, uh, of accelerator paste. Um, and then this is actually a little bit larger gun. So this is a 600 milliliter gun, so that that can actually accept the 600 um, milliliter unipacks. This gun, this 600 milliliter gun, will actually accept the 400 milliliter unipacks of, of Elite as well. Not an issue going that way, but this would be the 600 milliliter unipacks here of, of 268 uh, would be a little bit too big to fit into the, the smaller gun here, the 400 milliliter gun. So you can go this in here, but you can't go this in here. Other than that, the components are the same. Here, are the same, the same nozzles, the V-cut and the um, and the the two part with the uh, with the straight straight nozzle available. And again, Seek a Primer 207 AGR we would want to use um, on on all glass, <clears throat> excuse me, all glass parts. So those are the components. Um, really, last thing here before I, I finish up on the the presentation side. A uh, couple benefits uh, related to the gun itself. You know, I think a lot for a lot of people, um, the initial reaction when you see the gun is, man, that thing looks big, it looks heavy, it looks cumbersome, it looks awkward. Um, but really, it's not nearly as bad as it may appear at first sight. 
When we compare this gun, which is a 400 milliliter power cure dispenser, with a uh, with a loaded 600 mil, uh, you know, a loaded 400 milliliter power cure dispenser with a loaded 600 ml um, Unipack gun, the difference in weight is less than two pounds. So anybody that's ever used Unipacks in the past, you're really not going to notice the difference uh, between the weight of that Unipack gun that you've you've become used to and familiar with. Um, and this power cure dispenser. The, the, the weight difference really is min minimal. It's very well balanced as well. Um, so, you know, after using it a time or two, um, you know, maybe maybe the weight and the size is the first thing you notice, but after you use it a time or two, it's one of the last things you're thinking about. Uh, it really is, it's very smartly designed. Um, you know, the weight increase is, is very, very minimal and it is well balanced to help, uh, you know, to, to really help maximize the ergonomics um, of the dispenser itself. And, you know, going back to the original, the original challenge that we presented with ourselves, we really honestly think that um, this power cure dispenser and the system that, that, that's been developed, you know, it, it does deliver the, the precision and performance of, of high-end pump systems, two component systems, boosted systems um, that you would find on, you know, on an OEM production line. It, with the ease of use of, uh, you know, uh, something that you can hold in your hand and, and take with you wherever you go. Quick mixer replacement. Um, this little, this red uh, piece, this red cap here comes off and you can replace the nozzle very easily. So if the, if the gun is sat for, you know, for an hour as you're going from one job to the next um, and the material is cured up in that, in that, in the nozzle, because obviously we've got the dynamic mixing taking place in the nozzle itself. So you're gonna have product that cures up in that, not in the nozzle. Well, you can just take this this red cap off, put a new nozzle on, and you're ready to go. Likewise, with uh, with the adhesive refill, if you've used all of one uni Unipack and you're ready to move to the next, well, this gray housing uh, comes off, and you can take out your empty Unipack, put a brand new one in, and you're and put this gray piece back on, and now you're ready to go with uh, with a with a fresh Unipack. You don't even have to replace the nozzle in that in that situation because that material is still going to be wet and usable. Um, so real easy to swap the nozzle or to swap the bag um, and, and move on with your day. Um, so very, very smartly designed um, in, in, in terms of, um, you know, switching nozzles or switching, uh, switching unipacks. It, and, you know, it really does feel, it really does feel like a one component system when you're using the product. Um, you know, it, it, it feels very similar to using a, a standard unipack gun, but it gives you the precise automatic mixing and dosing of adhesive and booster uh, that you would see on a high-end two-component pump system. The gun does have uh, adjustable speed, so up here on the top, the, the, you can adjust the speed from uh, full, fully open to, uh, to, to, to quite slow, as well as in the trigger. So, you know, go, if you want to slow down around, around corners, you can let off that trigger a little bit. You don't have to worry about adjusting it here. Um, so, so excellent functionality in terms of uh, speed adjustment. And then one of the more important things, uh, it's completely interchangeable with the Milwaukee 18-volt battery pack. So that is actually the exact same battery pack that gets used on the Milwaukee 18-volt guns. Um, no need to, you know, to, to buy a, a expensive battery systems if you're already using Milwaukee 18-volt. That those batteries are completely interchangeable with the with the Power Cure system. And then, uh, you know, lastly, we will be offering a, a one-year repair warranty for uh, you know for anybody who does purchase a gun. So that is available, um, you know, to, to anybody who, who who's interested in this system. So um, really, that's about all I had. So just to to, to reiterate and, and recap here, um, you know, for anybody doing auto glass replacement, uh, specifically if you're you know interested in doing recalibrations and whatnot, and want to differentiate your your business, um, Seek Attack Elite really is. Um, it really offers it some intriguing uh, possibilities. Uh, the ability to give yourself, to give your customers uh, the safest windshield replacement available. You've got a product that's re that's returned to OEM level cure in 60 minutes, uh, regardless of uh, climate conditions, regardless of temperature and humidity. You know that uh, you've got a product that's that's gonna be just like when that customer drove that car off the lot um, within 60 minutes. And it just gives you the chance to differentiate your business.
Uh, for anybody doing commercial and specialty vehicles and equipment um, in glass repair on, on those types of vehicles, uh, Seek Attack Elite and 268, um, either by themselves or you know in combination between the two, depending on what uh, particular parts you're coming across. The Elite obviously being the faster of the two products, uh, but gives you less working time. So really ideal for, for small parts. Uh, and the 268, a um, little bit longer cure, but um, but gives you the extra open time that you need for, for, for dealing with those larger parts. And just giving you the, 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 the ability to be more flexible with your scheduling, not requiring your customer to get a hotel room or to you know, uh, find other arrangements um, you know, for overnight, um, you know, so, so that you can increase your th throughput and again, differentiate, differentiate your, your business by, by really providing a, a premium service. So that was really all I had for um, my presentation here. Um, hopefully it's got you thinking a little bit about um, what PowerCure might offer you and your business and you know, the ability to differentiate your business between um, you know, anybody else. Uh, so at this point, I'll just open up the, the floor to, to any questions that may have come in and, uh, and, and we'll go from there. Josh, what do we got? Yep. Uh, thank you, Mike, for, for leading the webinar and sharing your expertise. Um, we do have a few questions that came in. Um, the first, these are either of these products, Seek Attack Elite or Seek Flex 268 Power Cure, high modulus and or non-conductive? Oh, good question. Um, you know, 268, we wouldn't necessarily use for, um, you know, for auto glass. It's really, you know, for larger parts, um, you know, we, so we wouldn't really encounter a situation where we needed a high modulus or, or you know, non-conductive urethane. Um, but with the uh, with the Elite, uh, it is definitely all-in-one modulus, so it's good for any any vehicle, regardless of um, modulus requirements, and it is uh, rated as non-conductive. So um, really any vehicle that you might come across, uh, regardless of, um, you know, non-conductive requirements or modulus requirements, the Elite gonna, is going to be acceptable for use. Okay, excellent. Um, a second question I have here, what is the difference between OEM level cure and minimum driveway time? Sure. So, you know, when we talk about driveway time, minimum driveway time, um, you know, really what we talk about there is can it pass a crash test? So when we send that car into a, into a wall at 30 miles an hour, um, is that windshield going to stay in place? And, um, you know, obviously with, uh, with the Seek Attack Elite and as well as with some of our, our one component products, um, you know, 30 minutes, we've reached a, a level of strength where, yes, absolutely, we can run that car into a, into a wall and that that uh, that windshield is going to stay in place. It's not going to come dislodged. Um, but return to, to OEM level is is really something is something very different and separate than um, than the drive away time. Now we're talking about returning the the vehicle to the original uh, body stiffness. We're talking about eliminating um, restrictions. Um, you know, like I had said um, about going through the car wash or slamming the door with the with the with the windows up. You know, all these all these different things that um, you know, don't necessarily impact the safety of the installation um, because, you know, like I said, we we crash test everything. We, we're confident that, uh, you know, that, that that we're safe and that the, the vehicle will, that the windshield will remain in place in the event of a crash. Um, now we're, this return to OEM level is just, a, it's a different level of, um, of cure. Um, and, and now we're achieving that with the elite system in 60 minutes. Where you know with a one component system, yes, it's safe in the event of a crash, but you're not returned to OEM level, um, you know, for for days if not weeks, depending on um, you know depending on the temperature and humidity, um, you know, when, at the time of the installation. So um, it really it's just a, a a different level of of safety and security that um, that that gets provided with uh, with these with with this product. Uh, another question I have here, more application related. Uh, can I use Sika Activator Pro with either of these products? No, we wouldn't recommend uh, Activator Pro with either of these. Uh, like I said, on, on glass, we really want to make sure that we're using the 207 AGR. Um, and then if you're using the Elite, we would uh, we would want to see the Sika Activator 309P on the pinch weld trimmed urethane. Uh, but we wouldn't use Sika Activator Pro with uh, with either of these products. And it looks like we have just one more question here. Uh, can I use the 400 ml product Seek Attack Elite in the 600 ml Power Cure dispenser? 
Yeah, absolutely. The the, the 400 ml Unipex will fit into the uh, 600 ml gun. That's that's not a problem. Can't go the other way, but uh, you can definitely put the 400s into the 600 ml gun. Yep, no problem. Excellent. Well, I, I don't have any more questions here. Uh, that should conclude the, the Q&A portion of the webinar. If you have any uh, further questions or need additional information, uh, please do contact your local SICA sales representative or visit, visit us online at www.sicaindustry.com or you can call our customer service department at 1-800-688-7452. Uh, thank everyone. I'd like to thank you for attending today's session. Uh, special thanks to Mike Ray for leading the webinar and sharing his expertise on the SICA power cure adhesive systems. Uh, we do have a quick post webinar survey that will come up on your screen. If you can uh, please take the time to fill that out, it would be uh, very much appreciated. So uh, thank you all and uh, wish everyone a great day. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you.